Well, new tonight, the Biden administration says it has invoked the wartime powers of the Defense Production Act in order to speed up rebuilding a major IV fluid factory in North Carolina that was wrecked by Hurricane Helene last month. Yeah, before it was damaged by the storm, the company Baxter provided 60% of the nation's IV supplies. Well, now hospitals all across the country, including here in Colorado, are postponing non-emergency surgeries and procedures. Tonight, your reporter Gabriella Vidal spoke with one little to man who is whose surgery has been pushed back into the new year. And Gabby, certainly probably not the news that he wanted to hear. Yeah, that's right, Karen and Michael. And it's something that this patient that we spoke to said he didn't really even know about the national IV shortage until he got the phone call from his doctor today. And he imagines more patients in the community might experience similar similar phone calls pretty soon. I got the phone call. It was kind of a shock. And they just said uh, we're canceling the, uh, the surgery. It's a surgery that Littleton resident Ralph Owen was just four days away from receiving. I set it up uh, six to eight weeks ago. But he is now among hundreds of patients across the country learning his non-emergency surgery has been canceled. Well, I was frustrated because I had it all set up. My wife took off time from work and so forth. And um, and I had to top, stop taking certain medications ahead of time. We're being pushed towards giving oral hydration, okay, and giving oral uh, medications as opposed to IV medications. We're also being pushed to give more intramuscular medication. Dr. Frank Lavecchio says it's an issue that's affecting hospital systems across the country following hurricane damage to the Baxter International IV plant in North Carolina. It was a surprise, uh, you know, the, the uh, damage of one facility could affect so many people. Here in Colorado, multiple hospital systems have reported disruptions as a result of the national shortage. UC Health says they will begin postponing some non-emergent and non-urgent cases that require the use of large amounts of IV fluid. And Banner Health is delaying some elective surgeries across all of their locations. We were running low already. With the goal for the country to catch up in its supply, people like Owen says they'll be waiting a little longer to step into the operating room. The earliest I could probably get in, not for sure, but the earliest is the end of January next year. Well, the fact that I have to wait till January might get worse, and that, you know, that's the thing that bothers me. And CBS Colorado has reached out to other hospital systems in the community. We will update that information online as soon as that becomes available. But hospital systems that have gotten back to us say that patients can expect to work with the hospitals on rescheduling those surgeries. In Denver, Gabriella Vidal covering Call to First. Gabby, thank you.